Hey everyone, Jessica here. I apologize for having the exact same outfit on, but I only get to film once or twice a week because I am a stay-at-home mom of three small kids, so I try and film whenever I can, so I'm taking advantage of the fact that my husband is out watching a movie with all three kids and I can have a moment in here to try and film a little bit. Today I wanna to share with you my makeup use up in 2017. I watched a video by Elle is for Living and um, also from Kristen K. And I was inspired by them to um, make bigger goals for this year. This is my year of panning, but I want to try to make a little bit more specific goals because if I don't give myself a specific goal or a specific challenge, then I just kind of drop the ball and I forget about it. I'm like, oh, it doesn't matter. But if I have a set goal, then I tend to work harder towards that goal. I may not always achieve it, but I know my personality type is that I will work much harder to achieve a goal if I do have something that is set in stone or in black and white on paper in this case. So where some people have picked actual products that they wanna use up for the year, I have categories and I have a set number of products in each category that I wanna use up. And because I'm new to filming for YouTube and um, I'm really taking on a lot with panning this year, I'm trying to keep my goal much more realistic so that I can actually achieve a little bit of success and maybe be able to be a little bit more aggressive next year in my panning. So without further ado, I'm gonna give you my list. I do have some products in mind that I wanna use up that I'm already working on or um, are in a project pan that I believe that I will be able to use. So I will insert some pictures that I will take after the video and um, those are the products I probably will start with. I can't guarantee those are the ones that I'm gonna finish, but those are the ones that I'm going to most likely be working on. The first category is face primers. I have a goal this year to use up two. And for me, that's a lot, but I have one that I'm working on now, which is the Bare Minerals Prime Time, and I, probably only have about a quarter of it left. It's um, the smaller size. And um, I don't think that I'll have any problem finishing that one up. And then I have a deluxe sample of, I think it's the photo finish by Smashbox. So those are the two that I'm probably gonna be working on. But as long as I finish two of them this year, I'm gonna be happy. I would like to use up two foundations. I know one of them is going to be an e.l.f. tinted moisturizer foundation because I have been working with that one quite a lot. I'm not sure what the second one is gonna be, but we'll see how the year progresses. I would like to use up two concealers. I have two that I've been working on, but they both still have a lot of product in them, so we'll just see how that plays out. The next category is probably gonna be a fairly easy category for me. Powders, I plan to use four of them this year. My hard category, one of my hard categories is blush. I would like to use up one blush completely. And whether it's the one in my Pan That palette or another blush, it doesn't matter to me as long as I use up a blush completely. I would like to use up one bronzer or contour. I don't bronze or contour a lot, so this is gonna be a bit of a struggle for me. I would like to use one highlighter I have two that I'm working on right now. One is um, the Temp2 Liquid Highlighter, and I also have one in my Pan That palette. Odds are I will probably use up the liquid one first because I like to put a couple drops in my 
foundation. It gives a nice luminous look without having a very obvious highlighter because that's just not my day-to-day -day look. So if one of them gets finished, I will be very happy. I would like to completely use one eye primer this year. Doesn't seem like much, but as you all know, eye primer, you use so very little. Plus I use a lot of smudge pots and um, some cream eyeshadows as bases, so I'm not always using an actual primer per se. So I would like to finish one eye primer and then work from there. I'd like to use completely six eyeshadows. I have four of them in my Pan That palette. Who knows if I'll actually finish any of them. I'm gonna try, but we'll see how that goes. But I would like to completely use six eyeshadows. And I think I only have three eyeshadows that I even have pan on in my entire collection. So definitely would like to use up six completely. I would like to use five eyeliners. I don't care if they're pencils, if they're liquid, it doesn't matter to me. I just would like to use five eyeliners. A category that should be fairly easy for me is mascara, and I would like to use up four mascaras. I would like to use up two brow products. I don't care if it's a, like a wax, a pencil, um, even the clear gel that I use to set my eyebrows. As long as it's two brow products, I want to use those. I'm trying to give myself a lot of leeway this year because, like I said, I do want to have some success. And even though it seems a little vague, I spent most of 2016 not wearing makeup. I, you know, was pregnant in the early parts of 2016. You know, I had a baby in March and when you have a newborn plus two other children that you look after, as you can hear them in the background, you don't always have time to put your face on. So I didn't use a lot of makeup last year and I want to get back to using more makeup and taking care of myself and really just getting back into the swing of things. So that's why, um, that's why this doesn't seem like it's very challenging, but for me, this is a challenge in most categories. I would like to use four lip balms, two lip pencils, and a very hard category for me, and this is probably gonna be the absolute hardest for me to do, is five lipsticks. I'm not a lipstick girl. I like balm and I like gloss, but literally have between all of my lip products, close to five or 600 different products, which is insane because I don't use them. I have been gifted a lot of them. My sister-in-law does like to give me lip glosses and lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, stuff like that. Um, for birthdays, for Christmas, stuff like that. And I love them, I really do, but I don't use them enough to warrant having that much product. So I'm gonna attempt five lipsticks this year. And that being said, I'm also gonna to try to do five lip glosses. So my total for those makeup items is 47. And I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but again, for me, that is a lot of product. And I'm going to give it, you know, my best shot. We'll see how it goes and see how close to 47 that I can get. And realistically, even if I don't finish all of the items that I've set aside for each product category, if I finish others from other categories, and get to that 47 mark, I'm gonna be ecstatic because that's a lot of products. Okay, that was all of my makeup products, but I do have other beauty products that I have set goals for. I would like to use up three shampoos, and I don't care if they are like the kind to wash my hair or if they're a dry shampoo. I very rarely use a dry shampoo, so the odds of me using one up this year is pretty slim, but we'll see how that goes. But I would like to use three shampoos for this calendar year. I would like to use two conditioners. And just a side note, 
because my hair is so thick and so dry, I wash it every five days. I know that sounds crazy to some people that have to wash their hair every day, but my hair is naturally wavy. I did kind of like curl it to pull some of the waves out of it, but my hair doesn't get oily and greasy. Like, like one of my good friends, she has to wash her hair every day or it looks like an oil slick. My hair is just not that way. So setting a goal of three shampoos and two conditioners is a lot more challenging for someone that only washes their hair once, maybe twice a week. Okay, I wanna use four shower gels or body washes. And I think I can put bubble bath in that as well because they kind of do the same thing. So I'll lump that in with the, the shower gel and the body wash. So if I use up a bubble bath, I'm gonna mark it in that category. I would like to use 12 insane, I know, 12 body lotions or body oils. I have extremely dry skin on my body, not my face, my face is oily, but extremely dry skin on my body. So using lotions and oils is something that I need to do on a daily basis. I would like to use six perfumes or body sprays or perfume oils, anything in that fragrance category, I would like to use six. I would like to completely use two body scrubs, whether it's, you know, for the body or for my hands, um, not including for my face, but two full scrubs. I would like to use completely two face washes or scrubs. I have some exfoliating face washes, so I'm gonna lump those all in together. I would like to use three face moisturizers. I do have some that are like a deluxe sample size and I will include those um, in this category. I would like to use four face serums, whether it's like a serum or a gel, anything like that. I would like to use four of them completely this year. I would like to use two toners, whether it's um, like a medicated toner or like with salicylic acid, because I, like I said, I have oily skin, or um, like I have a Dickinson's Witch Hazel toner, I have a calming face toner that I like to use pretty much every day. So I would like to use two completely. I would like to use one makeup remover. And I only use makeup remover on my eyes. Every, the rest of my makeup I use like a face wash. And I would also like to use two brow treatments. I have um, some serums that I've been using on my eyebrows to help these sparse hairs grow a little bit more and I would like to use two of those completely. I know that's kind of a random category, but it's specific to what I like to use. So that's why I'm including in there. I have a bunch of them. Some of them were sent to me for PR. So I do have a bunch and I would like to get two of those used up. Okay, that's all I have in this body hair category and my grand total for this category is 43 items. That's a lot of items. <laughs> so between the two categories, between um, makeup and then like full face care, hair care, body care, stuff like that, that's 90 items. Wow, that's a lot. I have lofty goals for this year. So we will see what I can use up this year, but 90 items, that would be impressive. Okay, that's it for this makeup use up and beauty use up for 2017. I will probably be updating when I have some serious progress, most likely quarterly. You will see some results when I do my monthly empties, if you keep track of those. Um, 
I'll have some periodic empties that will fit into these categories, obviously. I will update quarterly and um, you will see some progress in my empties, but I will just do probably quarterly updates on this makeup use up. Okay, that's everything and I will see you in my next video. Until then, have a beautiful day.